We're going to create a quick little way to do an animation in PowerPoint. So let's take a look at how we do it. We are in Office 2019 using PowerPoint. And you can see that you need to be at least on version 1808, as you see at the bottom, in order to do this animation the way I'm doing it. There's ways to do it with older versions, but unfortunately they don't look quite as good and quite as smooth. So we've got a 3D picture of Jupiter. So you can tell it's 3D. When you click on it, you can see this uh, little symbol here in the middle. And I got that by going to Insert and then 3D Models, and I chose from Online Sources. And then you just pick whichever thing you want. So I chose Space, and I chose the picture of Jupiter. So what we're going to do is I'm going to right-click on this, and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to make a series of slides all exactly the same way. So let's go ahead and keep pasting in a few of these. And this should do it. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the second slide, click on it, and I'm going to move it just a little bit to the left. And I'm going to take the third slide, and I'm going to move it just a little bit more. And then I'm going to keep going uh, using this exact same type of thing. Oops, sometimes it's easy to move it, so you got to undo. You don't want to move the actual planet. You just want to rotate it. And there we go. And keeping that rotation exactly the way you want it is not that easy of a job, just to let you know. So we'll go ahead and finish this up. Last couple. There we go. And the last one. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to use the uh, morph feature, the transition called morph. So we click on transitions, and we're going to highlight all of these different slides all at once by hitting the shift key. So you click on the first one, and then you shift, and then click on the bottom one, and you'll highlight all of them. You could also just individually click the control key uh, and on each one, and then that will do the same thing. And then we're going to click on morph, so that way we have the morph set up for each one of these. All right, now let's watch what happens when we go to a slideshow from the beginning. There we go. And we'll click slowly through this, and we'll see it starts to rotate. Now, if we do a recorded one of these, we can actually get this to show up so it rotates automatically for us. And we can rotate all different directions, of course. And you can see the planet's moving a little bit because I wasn't really careful about that. So I can go backwards and do the exact same thing. Another thing we can do is we can choose to format our 3D model by right-clicking and choose Format 3D Model. And instead of sort of rotating all over the place, we can have this go a little bit more smoothly simply by clicking on the uh, Y rotation. And we'll just go ahead and click once. See that? Moved a little bit to the right. Then we'll copy that one. And we'll paste it in. And we'll go back to our format. And we'll just keep rotating to the right a little bit until we get all the way around. And I've gotten all the way around, so let's go ahead and watch the slideshow from the beginning. And it now looks like an animation. I could have been a little bit more careful in how I was rotating it so you can get a little smoother transition, but overall, uh, this is a pretty cool way to create an animation using PowerPoint. Now from here I can go ahead and rehearse my timings and I can record this and I can play it on a loop. I can put in other slides over it. Now of course I did this using a planet, but you can use a lot of different things. You can use animals, you can use characters, things like that, and make your own animation. And uh, you can do it with uh, a lot less expensive software than if you went out and bought animation software and learned that from scratch. So that is how you make a simple animation using the 3D modeling and the morph features in PowerPoint.